Hello, hello! So today's video will be a no face video because I'm sick of my face in three consecutive vids I already posted. Um, I usually post every Monday but since this style is different, I need more time to edit. This is also the start of my new series of pharma tips. In the future, I will post a video about tips every subject in pharmacy so you better subscribe. But today, I will tell you general tips that will help you in your journey. Without further ado, let's go Garod! This is very important just in general in studying. Make sure that every classes you are attending, you are handwriting your notes. There are several studies that says that writing your notes make you remember it more, and I myself can prove it. This is very beneficial especially for visual learners. In writing, use different colors of ballpen, preferably not highlighter as it will be more hassle. You can use this all-in-one ballpen, but as you can hear, it can produce a sound that can be annoying for your classmates. Or, Use different kinds of ball pen, but fast hands are needed in switching. I personally prefer using both technique. On the other hand, if your professor is posting PowerPoints or lecture material a day before the class, print it and write there. You will find it easier to follow the flow of the discussion and highlight little important things to focus on. I found this technique very expensive in ink and paper, so if there is someone that is willing to photocopy his or her printed material, just grab the opportunity to save. If you are privileged enough, you can use your iPad or tablet in taking down notes using the technique I already posted in my channel, but honestly it was not as effective as writing notes unless your subject is medicinal chemistry or any subjects that require drawing or with a lot of chemical structures. Always put an asterisk and give importance whenever your professor tell you that that certain information was in the board exam back in their time because some question in board exam keeps on repeating so it might save an item or two. According to Rusha, for those who still diligent enough in taking notes, know how to say no. For sure, hihingan at hihingan kayo ng notes ng mga blackmates mo. Okay lang maging matulungin sa blackmate mo since isang batch naman kayo with the same goal but huwag kang papaabuso. Hayaan mo din sila mag-effort kung gusto nila mag-excel. Let's say na it's your way as well in helping them grow as a student. I definitely agree with this. I personally experience pressure in sharing notes and I hate when other people take pictures of my notes because I work hard for it. But if you know that he or she was absent, just be kind in helping him or her. For freshmen, compile all the lecture notes on every courses as much as possible. For sure, it will be a great help in reviewing for major exams like midterms and finals. Also, it will come handy for the higher subjects since most of the courses in first year are prerequisite of the other subjects. As early as first year, you should know how to value your notes. If you use printed PowerPoint, compile them like this and soft bind it. Or if your teacher does not give you PowerPoint, type your notes and print it out like this. I know it takes a lot of time, so do it little by little. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Oh hello! Are you feeling tired and sleepy during class? Get your phone, press record, put it near to your teacher, and sleep. I know it sounds B.I., but as a pharma student, there will always come a time when you cannot bear to hear any more information. As a clever student, you will resort in recording the whole discussion in class. Do not do this always. I know a lot of students who record and at the end did not listen to it again because of lack of time and it's really boring to repeat the whole class. Nope, nope, do not stop. Just be observant on the way he or she delivers some information during discussion. Because most of the time, a little increase in pitch of voice is an indicator of the most important detail that will show up in an exam. 
Try also asking some of your seniors how they usually make their exam. Come on, do not chill! This is not high school where exams are all multiple choice. In college, all the type you can think of is a possibility. Essay, fill in the blank, identification, modified true or false, matching type, moving exam, return demo, and more. Pharmacy has board exams, so they really make midterm and final exams difficult. If you will buy a PPE, buy a lot of gloves and face mask because every day you will use it, then throw it. Head cups, on the other hand, can be reused, so I still have this bunch of head cups until now. It's my first year supply, by the way. Do not be lost in track. List everything you have to accomplish every day. In pharmacy, they can give you quizzes and outputs almost every meeting so you better list it well. I personally use Zinia app so I can see my works in the whole month and do them whenever I have free time. Managing your time equals self-discipline. You have to sacrifice leisure things and even family bonding just to study. Not all information will be given by your professors, especially in that limited time. Admit that you will not absorb it in an instant. So while you are reviewing, Reach for other sources of information. Question every information you will encounter. Why this information contradict the other? Is it outdated? Remember that medicine is rapidly changing due to research, so you better be updated. So like and subscribe to me, to memes and to other sources like Medscape, so you will receive email or notification whenever there are news and updates about health. According to Rusha, always come prepared in every class, physically, emotionally, and spiritually prepared. In pharmacy, I think in most allied health courses, expect them not to have surprise quizzes. In fact, everyday quizzes na talaga siya literal. Sumasani na kayo. If I'm first year, I will say the same thing to you. While this is definitely true, my real tip is, do not give so much pressure to yourself because you will surely break down. I experienced this, crying alone because I didn't live up in my own expectation. If you are an achiever in high school like me, tell yourself that it is okay to have not so good grades in college. Just do your best always and focus in your goal. And lastly, enjoy the journey. Everyone I know who graduated in college will tell you this. All the crummings, staying up late, Failed quizzes and crying will be missed. Just don't give up. Good luck, future farmates and RPH. Bye bye.